Welcome back. We are learning new details about the deadly officer involved shooting Monday in Dodge City that injured four law enforcement officers. The KBI says it all started when Clark County deputies saw a truck matching the description of a vehicle connected to a double homicide out of Phoenix, Arizona. Case it's Mally Jones here now with our uh, continuing coverage and some new information tonight, Mally. Yeah, Jeff Emley, a KBI spokesperson, says the traffic stop led to a chase into Ford County and a shootout that left the suspect, Leroy Malone, dead. A female in his truck is being treated for serious injuries. As for the officers, the KBI says one Ford County deputy hospitalized in Wichita had surgery today, is improving and in good condition. The other three involved have been released from the hospital. Throughout this situation, other agencies tell me they stick together. Family. That's how law enforcement agencies in rural Kansas describe their relationship. We're uh, not in the metro. We're, we're out here in, in rural areas. So that's um, we know each other. We know each other's families most of the time. They reach out to us and need some assistance. We'll be right there for them. The Kansas Highway Patrol always assists if an agency is short staffed. So we listen to the radio and talk and listen. So if they have something that's coming up in the county, we we definitely respond to help them because of of if they're short on units. The Fraternal Order of Police for Wichita, Sedgwick County and Kansas is giving hotels and food to the families of the deputies who are receiving treatment in Wichita. The family members are, let, are having their family members go out there and protect and serve the community and they don't get the support. So we're being able to give back and give the support to their family. Law enforcement across Kansas, whether close in proximity, say they are close knit. Oh, we're very close. We're all, I mean, we, we're here to help each other all the time. The sheriff's deputies involved in the shooting are all on paid administrative leave pending further investigation. Inkelar says everyone who responded or had part in what happened yesterday needs support. He just says by stopping by your local agency, that goes a long way. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.